This, my friends, is an ICOM 7300. Why do I have it all taken apart, you may ask? This little guy right here. The CMOS battery. No matter how long I leave this plugged in and charged, it goes down to like 0 .01 volts within a day. So it won't remember the time. Thinking, I don't have a coin cell holder on hand right now. I'm just going to solder a coin cell in here with a diode so it can't try to recharge. Maybe stick it to the side over here somewhere. But uh, if you have an ICOM 7300 that won't save the time the second you disconnect it from power, this little microscopic wart right here is your problem. That's a 3 volt rechargeable battery and they expect it to uh, hold the memory for this. A little coin cell holder would have went a long way, but it's Memorial Day weekend. I can't get one here fast enough and I already found the problem, so hey. I'm gonna replace this. Well, while I was in there doing that, I did put a non-rechargeable battery. I put a diode so it can't try to feed it voltage. So it's just homemade since I didn't have a holder. Also went ahead and did the 100K resistor on the tuner to get a little more tune out of it without going into emergency mode. You can use less than 100K, but uh, you'll have to reduce your power. Um, better just use 100K. You can do like, uh, I don't know, about 6 or 8 to 1 instead of a 4 to 1. So, a couple little tips and tricks on the ICOM IC7300. And I think, I already put the cover back on the other side. I think there was one other mod I did of this years ago. To get more power out of sideband where these things only put out like 50 or 60 watts peak, even on a true peak reading meter. Um, the ALC is way too aggressive on sideband. So I put a, I think it was a 2.2 microfarad capacitor. I don't remember what that mod was now, but I just figured I'd do this one while it was already in there. So... I'll clean up the flux a little bit more and uh, put the covers back on. And years ago when I bought this one, I did buy the uh, carry handle. Comes with a little feet for the other side. They charge you extra for everything these days. So now I've got the 555 different uh, screws back in there. And this little guy is your battery. Yeah. Never had one of those last more than six months. I guess unless you leave your radio on all the time on the power supply. Let's see if this one still held the time. Because uh, while I was in the middle of doing this, I went ahead and tested it. Hooked it up, set the time. And uh, I unhooked it again from power. Put it all back together. See if it saved that time. All right, here goes nothing. Cover up my call sign here. Don't need any more hate mail, people wanting to kill me. There we go. Save the time. Let's see here. Got the date and the time. So I may hook this back up to the computer again and uh, let it do its thing. Looks like it's a working. Pretty late at night, so not picking up much skip. I'll go test the tuner here shortly. But uh, that's a tip. If you got one of these with a dead battery, this is what you're dealing with. Go get you a proper coin cell holder and a rechargeable CR2032. I'm just cheap and lazy and didn't think in advance, and I just decided I'd open this up and play with it. Like I said, I did put a diode in line with the uh, positive side, so this radio can't send voltage back to it um, to charge the uh, non-rechargeable battery. 
that does cut your voltage a little bit. You get about 800 ohms out of most of your diodes. So cut it down from 3.3 to, or 3. Point, yeah, 3.2 down to like three even. So that's good enough compared to what was in it. That was awesome. So there's lots of little mods you can do to these, but I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're an illegal CB'er hoping to buy one of these for AM use, forget it. Like I said, I'm a general class ham, so I actually use this for what it's meant for. I don't, uh, I don't take these radios on 11 meters. There's no point to it. Although it is Mars modded, because it does open up four meters. So six, four, of course, 60. Pretty good shape. I bought this probably five, six years ago, but that battery died within six months to a year, even though I did leave it on power all the time. So yeah, if you're facing that little battery issue, that is what you wanna do. Tuner mods and ALC mods are also pretty much mandatory for, you know, if you want to use something other than a perfectly tuned antenna, I think it can only tune up to like 100 ohms. You open this up, it'll go uh, 0 to 300 ohms. But if you want to run maximum power, I'd still probably go ahead and cut it back a little bit. But it'll get you out of having to use that emergency mode. So 73 is all, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.